Urchin Underpass once again. All right, so Urchin Underpass is coming up a lot, so I may have to uh, space out. Out, yeah, I'll, I may need to space out the amount, uh, like the t the the battles that are at Urchin Underpass. So, like, uh, if I get any more Urchin Underpass, I may just save them for like way later videos down the road when I'm getting a lot of other maps that are like being played a lot because this is being played a lot right now and I feel like uh, it may get a little boring if all like all of these videos right now are all under uh, urchin underpass That was probably a really roundabout way of saying that I'm spacing out the, the battles that are taking place on Urchin Underpass. So you may see me switching between like armor and being like, oh yeah, I'm going back to this armor when I didn't even switch. Like, I don't know. Yeah, that's what you get for, for Quit begging me after you killed me. Someone else splatted you. That's why you don't do that. It's not a smart thing to do in Turf Wars. You'll get splatted very easily by doing that. Okay, we're doing fairly well right now, but I'm not inking a lot of turf because of the fact that we already have a lot of turf ink. Hopefully they didn't have a disconnect. A DC, as some people may call it. I'm getting some turf inked back here, though. Which is good, because it gives us points, as well as just myself in general points. But it seems like we have this in the bag. I don't want to jinx it because that could change in an instant. If I'm not careful. Ah, dang it. Almost had him. Or her. Them. I almost had them. Seems like they're pushing back a bit, though. But we should be able to win. That may have been enough to push them over the edge, though. Oh, wow. Oh, oh. 5% or not even 5, 0.5%. Yeah, I did not ink a lot of er, turf there. could have splatted so many people, but then I I just didn't. I'm not good with the the splatlings or the the machine gun type weapons. Welcome back to Splatoon. In the last episode, we we went to Area Four after yeah after Captain Cuttlefish got captured. But then we found some, we got some new teammates that have been guiding us along. Anyways, we're just going to start the level number 18. Spinning spreader. Time waits for no squid. Spreader! Yikes! Whoa, whoa! Okay, so we're going to have to be careful because there are lots of spreaders here. But not to worry, because, well, you can ink the spreaders and then just ride along them, which is nice. But, like the title said, no uh, time waits for no squid, so we should probably just move on. Ooh! And ink any Octarians along the way. Because, well, they're, they're trying to ink us as well. 
Now, I do want to get the, that balloon that's over here. So we're going to ride this spreader so we can actually reach it with our ink. Yeah. And that was four eggs all at once. Nice. Oh, more octocopters. Okay. Well, we'll have to be careful of them. Make sure they don't see you for very long anyways. Oh, and now spreaders are just covering our ink. And they're even overlap overlapping where they're going. So, ugh, you just need to be careful. Smooth moves. Okay, we should be able to ride up this without any problems. Octarian, ah, get out of here. Oh, there is a box over there, although we have we weren't there yet. Hmm. Although, it looks like we might be able to get over there. Okay, well, because I'm morbidly curious like that, and I don't want to miss scrolls, let's try to get over there. Now, can I get over to where you are? <gasps> that is a scroll! How do I get there? Oh, I need—I just need to be close enough to hit the wall. And then just scale up. Okay. Good. I'll just be waiting here then. Until my time to shine has come. Which is now. Yeah! We got it! Sweetness. Oh, and then you use that to get over here. Okay. See, I was wondering what that, the the warp thing was about. And I guess since that's not a completely flat wall, you, uh, mashing X doesn't make it a lot faster because you're you're actually like jumping. Oh, get out of here! Woo! Get these eggs. Get them. Okay, so there's a checkpoint up ahead, but it seems like there aren't any Octarians yet. Oh, you can sink into the checkpoint. For some reason, I thought you, like, couldn't. I don't know. Oh, no. Get up there and stay up there. Oh, no. Oh, there goes my defense. Die. Oh, there be the kid, ya yeah, bucko. Uh, your cat and cuttlefish impression needs work. Yeah, I was gonna say, I mean, she said it first, but we were all kind of thinking it. Get the key. And also the balloon, because I want it. And I'm not going to get that balloon because it's it, then I would have to ride the thing uh, all the way around. Open the bolt. Ooh, smells like octolings. Yeah, I, I imagine they don't smell very nice. Although maybe that's just make, you making fun of them because they're your mortal enemies. One more incoming. Okay, it looks like it's one of the elite ones since it has kelp on its head. Oh, uh -huh, you found the key. Yeah, I found the key. Whoa, that actually sounded like Captain. Uh, not really. Bomb Rush Ahoy! Ah, so this is a bomb rush. Okay. Well, I mean, we I would try it out, but there's nothing to... There's no enemies here, so that would be wasting it. Let's just see if there are any enemies. Oh, no. This is just the zapfish. Bombs away! It's basically... Wait, is it... Oh, it's... It's... Secret. Oh, wait, no. It was... Oh, because I had the Seekers selected? Okay, that actually makes more sense. For some reason, I thought it was exclusively, like, burst bombs. Okay. 
It's Black Friday every day at the Booyah Base Ultra Mega Hyper Sale. Every day, every deal's a doorbuster. If you want the if you want to be the freshest squid in Angopolis, you cannot miss this incredible shop, uh, shop opportunity. Uh, yeah, this actually looks more like an ad than it does some kind of super secret lore scroll. Okay, well, that's something. Ah, nice. At this rate, you'll be able to save the great zapfish in no time. Okay, well, since we actually have the other places found, we can actually just warp straight to 19. Tumbling Splatforms, the Tentacles of Fate. Nice, yellow. Oh, and I like this song. It's pretty good. Look at the... the uh, look at that platform go. Oh, this one. Okay, so this one, these platforms are weird because you can you can ink all sides, but you need to be careful of which side you're on because I don't think you can you can be an in ink that's like on the ceiling. Like you can't be upside down. Looking good, Agent Three. Thank you, Agent Two. Let's get this box. Ah, more defense. Or defense period, because we didn't have it that yet. Okay, doesn't look like there's anything behind us or anything, which is good. Just need to make sure. I hate missing scrolls like I did last time. In fact, especially like I did last time. Look out below. Look out above. Hmm. Okay, there are Octarians about, but it doesn't seem like they're guarding anything over here. Oh! Oh, get out of here, bomber! Hmm. Nothing over here. I don't know, it, it feels like there should have been some kind of, like, secret thing. Not necessarily a scroll, just some kind of secret thing in general. Don't lose your balance now. So, yeah, I doubt you can be on these, like, in the ink when it's upside down. So, you want to be careful of that. Nailed it! Nothing behind here. Which is good. Get that, that, that thing as well. Okay, there should have been something by now. Like, uh, all we've found really is the one defense. Get out of here. You too. Missiles that, for some reason, make me think of dogs. That's the ticket. Okay, there's the checkpoint, but I'm still not seeing any secret stuff. Which is really bizarre, because that's the zapfish up there. Okay, there's balloons here. Ah, hello. Hello, scroll. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Climb three of these, and it's the zapfish time. Yeah, it's zapfish time. Especially since I have the scroll now. Although the last one I found was just an ad for a clothing store. But still, I must find them all. Okay. 
ink all up the sides like that. And then we're golden, just like our our ink color. Phew, didn't think you had you'd make it to be honest. Wow, that's some confidence confidence busting. Thanks, Agent One. Really. Is the big fluffy one providing shelter for the little fishy one? Or is the little fishy one manipulating the big fluffy one? We may never know. Ah, the anemone. Yeah, and also the clownfish. Nice. Okay, that's... Wow, Gramps said you were good, but I didn't expect this. Gramps? You, you mean Captain Cuttlefish? Hmm. Okay. Cool. Well, uh... Neat. Okay, well, I think that'll be it for now for the campaign. Yeah. All right, so because I was getting Urchin Underpass so much, I decided to jump into the the ranked battle mode because I didn't, I, I haven't covered it all that much. I've just been doing regular battles, which is Turf Wars. And right now we're doing Control the Zones, which is you have to control a certain amount of ink which is this pink square. And when you when it says we're in control, well, you're in control and you need to stay in control until your timer runs out. I, I think that's pretty self-explanatory. Especially when the, like the rest of the game is, well, just so, I know, I know. It's just so explanatory is what I'm trying to get at. I shouldn't have to explain myself that much. But there is a, a, a time limit for the match in general, and if, if no one wins in the amount of time, I believe that it goes to the, um, the, the team that has the least amount of time remaining. But it seems like we've... Oh, I had to say that. I, I had to say that as soon as we were about to win. I was about to say it looks like we've won, but then we we lost control. They lost control, and then we need to gain control back. Oh, dang. Now, I believe that plus 75, we have to wait until it runs out in order to have our our points that we so rightfully earned. And I believe the the amount that is di dictated, uh, the, the plus meter is how much they, uh, the other team was in control before you got control back. Oh, oh no, the ink strikes. Ink strikes are back. They're, they're back and they're bad. We're in control again, though. Which is very good. Very, very good. It looks like we have a couple teleporting people. Hopefully that got them to just run away. Okay, we won. Nice. Good guys versus bad guys. Now, the thing about uh, rank mode is that uh, you're only paired up with people that are in the same rank as you, and because it's a harder mode, you get way more points and more money. Now, I'm not sure how much I'll be playing rank mode because of the the very nature of rank mode, but if I am encountering a lot of the same stages, then I will be jumping into rank mode. That's how it's gonna work. 
Okay, that's all the time I've got. I gotta get back to playing Animal Crossing New Leaf on my Nintendo 3DS.